and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Arcbo. As y'all know, this was my favorite deck in the format for a while, for a few weeks there. Uh, but then, like, the last week or two, hadn't been doing as well whenever we uh, played the deck. But we're going to give it one last shot here today. This is our, our last, like, regular sh standard stream with War of the Spark. So we're kind of going through four of our favorite decks uh, that we've had a lot of success with. And, you know, four of the stream's favorite decks and everything there. Mardu Midrange was a lot of fun to play. I uh, definitely enjoyed that one. We just finished up there. And now we got Bant Arcbow. And, of course, then after that, you know, we got uh, Teamer Hydra and Grixis Control. So we're playing ranked matches here today, trying to uh, increase our ranking. The uh, ranking is resetting um, in, like, two days. And we want to be in top 1,000, if possible, for the uh, invite for the next MCQ. But it's not it's not too important this this month because I've I've gotten in that top thousand ever in the previous month so like last month we were in there so we were good to go there. Um, we're at ninety six percent right now. We started at ninety three percent whenever we were at Marty Midrange, so that's good. We're up three percent towards it. Anyway, to our deck, um, you know our deck is of course a, a an Arcbow deck. Like, we're trying to get Arcbow in play and activate it as much as possible. But we're also kind of a combo deck here. Like, we're trying to get the Shalai Spark Double combo, find both pieces of that. That's a sweet combo to make it so your opponents can't target you anymore, can't target anything anymore, um, you or any of your creatures. Also, just Lyra Dawnbringer is just really strong in this format. Like, people aren't too ready for the card, honestly. And so Lyra and Shalai do a whole lot of really good stuff. And I just love me some Frilled Mystics also. Uh, countering spells, getting a body out there, getting some pressure. It's another really good arc bow hit. This time, as you can see here, I, I had three resp Resplendent Angels the last time we played. I am trimming some of those for some Thorn Lieutenants. I wanted another two drop, and I wanted to be something a little more defensive that gave me a little bit of time to set up uh, with the arc bows. And plus, Thorn Lieutenant can be a good late game card also, how you have all the mana. Like, if, if your opponent's attacking into you, you can either be threatening, uh, activating the six doing the six man activation and making it a six seven or you know activating your arc bow i think this could be a good uh mana sync as well so yeah so there we go all right yep we'll get started let's get started so traditional constructed queue Alright, is Bird of Paradise too good for standard these days? Um, I would say no. I would say no. It's not It's not like a, an absolute ton better than Llanowar Elf. Like, is it better than Llanowar Elf? Absolutely. But it's not like... It doesn't... You know, when, you, when we have... We have Llanowar Elf and we have Paradise Druid. Bird of Paradise is better than both of those, but not like... Yeah, but not by like a just an absolute ton kind of thing. I don't think it will be back in standard anytime soon, but it, it is a card that could be back in standard. That like the cards in standard these days are really good. You know, like they it was probably too good like a little while ago, like maybe a year ago it was probably too good, but nowadays they're they're printing four mana wraths again and there's just there's so much good removal everywhere. Um yeah, I don't think Bird of Paradise is too good right now. Okay, so I'm going to Lead with Teferi. I'm known for my so that next turn I can play Oketra. And then after I play Oketra, I can drop some mana creatures and get some 4-4s. Four Alright, let's Enough. Don't know exactly what my opponent's doing over here, but it's looking pretty cool. I'm liking, I'm liking what they're putting down. Let's try this. Look 
forward to seeing you running away. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Uh, yeah, Resplendent Angels rotating out. And yeah, you'll have to have some more things to do besides just one card to play on turn two, because you can't really play brought back on turn two. Okay. So am I playing Resplendent Angel this turn? No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, I think so. All right, see? For the person that said they didn't like Oketra, that's what Oketra does. Makes them scoop it up. All right, so we're playing against Jund stuff. So they're probably going to be pretty hasty. We got Dreadhorde Butcher, Spellbreaker. Pretty decent combination of cards there. Let's get this Time Wipe up in here. I think the Deputy Detentions can go, and probably the Teferis also. Honestly, let's get this Time Wipe. And... Baffling Ends, probably the Tristani, and some Baffling Ends, maybe Trim a Frilled Mystic, how are we doing creature wise, 25, that's still strong, alright, let's give this a try. Oh, yeah, you're just having it for right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Matthew. I don't, I don't know why I was thinking it was post-rotation. Sorry. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so this is just for next set. Right, right, right. I, think, I don't like Angel of Vitality very much, honestly. I don't think that's a very strong card. I think you have to... You have to be a, a very dedicated Angel deck for it. But still, like... How good the cards are in standard, like Angel of Vitality is just not there. Bit of three mana, two two flying. If you gain a life, you gain just an extra life. Like that's not really worth it. Sure, if you have twenty five or more life, then it's a four four flyer. But still, four four flyer is about it. Kind of everything. Standard's too powerful for that card. Zombie. Turn two bishop into turn three angel equals four four. Not angel of vitality. But yeah, you do gain like the fifth life for resplendent angel. Please no removal. No removal one turn. Warboss has to attack into Dawnbringer. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. No, it's a bad sign. So I don't I don't have any outs anymore, do I? It's time wipe. The Butcher kills me. I 
Hey, welcome from Argentina. Matthew. Welcome. I guess even though like Deputy and Time Raveler just die pretty easily, I guess they do reset Dreadhorde Butcher, which is pretty big. So maybe just resetting Dreadhorde Butcher is worth it. At least they do take a removal spell, which helps protect the angels and everything too. So yeah, I'll just I'm just gonna replace Frill Mystic with Deputy. Brazil here. Welcome. Um, I have I have played, yeah, I have played Explore Package with Resplendent Angel together, but not that much to be honest. Um. But yeah, I have. It's it's a really nice combination for sure. Switzerland, mommy. Welcome. They have treasure map in their deck? That's not something I was expecting. Multiple people from Switzerland. So how am I going to sequence this next turn? You know, am I playing? If I just, am I just like slamming down Oketra, letting them like Angrass rampage it away? You know, shocking to do that. Do I just want to activate Arcbow for five? I think we're going to play the Oketra first, but even if they kill the Oketra, it goes back into the library, and then the next turn I activate Arcbow for five, and I guarantee that I'm grabbing an Oketra. Yeah, Shalai can't be Angrath, but could be Coiled, yep. We saw those are the two removal spells we saw them play last, last uh, game. So do I want to deputy this treasure map? Kind of do. It's looking like they're pretty reliant on the treasure map. And even if they kill deputy, all they do is just, you know, reset their treasure map. It's not like anything too, too spectacular. Still, it's a, you know, it's a slow card from here. I don't think they'll have Star of Extinction. Yeah, they probably thought, you know, like we were like a Nissa deck and stuff. So 
We'll see. Do they have Star of Extinction? Ritual of Soot? Kind of looks like their sideboard here is a little bit too all over the place. Treasure maps, Immortal Sun, Dreadhorde Butcher, Legion War Boss. Ooh, we're doing it. Combo. Got to get the double Shalai across this guy. That is nice. Not a single arc bow activation. Didn't need it. We had Oketras in those games we won. We got ran over one game, and then, yeah, we had Oketras. And Oketra just wins games like that. Untap with Oketra. Good to go. <laughs> we just barely got there. Exact lethal. Yeah, I think people are having trouble with Deckmaster today. I'll try, I could try closing Deckmaster and re reopening it, but it looks like, like usually everything's like green on Deckmaster and there's some red and some white. Hmm. Do you believe in the cards? On my side? Why would, why would there be an issue on my side? What am I... I don't, I don't, like, have anything that affects... Deckmaster, I just, I just open up the program, that's it. Yeah, they could it could be updating for M20. That could be a thing. Okay, other streamers having the same issue. You think I'm a crazy beast? Where do you see my mate? Ow. My wild beasts will bring your commands. I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. Well, Domri says that the creatures can't be countered. So it's probably best to play our angels out. And I'll start with Shalai before Lyra. And though maybe I should just be playing Lyra for sorry, not Lyra, Lyra. Maybe I should just be playing Lyra first. Shalai, you know, they could just minus two the, the Domri to kill Shalai. Uh yeah, the Ritual Raptor. There in particular. All right, but now they can't. Now their things can be countered again. They can't just fight. Still getting Dawnbringer out here, though. And all we need to do is un untap with Dawnbringer and then have Frilled Mystic available to protect it.
Yay, another land. That means I get to play the arc bow and still have Frilled Mystic up. Do I counter another Growth Chamber Guardian? I don't think so. Hey, the M20 pre-order is now working for Germans. Nice. There you go. Uh, I guess probably because I'm too patient. It's the question, why did I just attack? Why, why am I not just attacking with Lyra? I, I should be. I really should be. So yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and attack here. Especially now that we got the Frilled Mystic out of there and get get even more creatures on the ground. Alright, so we'll be able to activate Arcbow for seven. Look for Shalai or Spark Double or a Frilled Mystic. Double Dawnbringer. Attacking for 13. Spark Double Dawnbringer is sweet. And Spark Double is just cool. Got that surprise lethal in there. Alright, so Null Hides can like, block stuff. Time Wipe can kill stuff. Trust on me. All right, we'll get rid of the Frill Mystics because of... Because of Domery making their stuff not counterable. Yeah, kind of six of one, half dozen of the other. Yep. I like a Pan Arcbow and Gruel Arcbow. I like them both. Arcbow is just a sweet card. I like both the decks. All Arcbow all the time. Unfortunately, we got Graft Digger's Cage coming up next set. Sam's probably not going to do it. No, I don't think you want Wilderness Reclamation in this deck, even though, you know, you get to untap, you know, so supposedly how that would work, you know, how Wilderness Reclamation would would work, or theoretically, I guess, or whatever, is, you know, you'd have, uh, you'd be able to, like, spend your mana on your turn for something, and then you untap your lands and spend it with Arcbow, but the thing is, is you don't have... This deck doesn't have the card advantage to, to take advantage of that. Like you're, you're not going to have like a card to play plus a card to discard to Arcbow. You're just you just have your card to discard. So the reclamation is just kind of a a waste of a card. No, Tristani only gets you one 
four four with Oketra. Oketra is just whenever you cast a, a creature spell, and Tristani is just one creature spell. So do you just get the one four four? All right, well, our opponent's hand was really good. Turn two, Domri. Turn three, Nullhide. Doesn't get too much better than that. Speaking of Tristani, Tristani would be a pretty good hit here. Just give me some chump blockers. If I hit Lyra... Nope. I was going to say if I hit Lyra, I'm going to want the Resplendent Angel. Should be able to have our null hides trade next turn also. Hmm. That's the hope here. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Always work out how you want. Do we need a land and a Lyra. Huh. They definitely flooded out after their turn four null hide. Only playing one card since then. Yeah, they only played four cards that whole game. So of course we we have to chump block the Thorn Lieutenant.
but if we draw a land, we'll have lethal in the air. Spellbreaker wouldn't be lethal because Spellbreaker would just be a 3-3. Three, three. All right. Two and oh. We're getting back up there. Gained, gone from 93 to 98% today. That null height hit was really big. Well, they they know that the they knew they know the Oketra, the Oketra we put back in the library, so they know that at the very worst we're hitting the Oketra. So yeah, I couldn't whiff. So, yeah, if I could possibly whiff, then I would not have taken that line that was would have been that risky. Yeah, I kind of feel like my opponent, yeah, punted when they get let me get that activation, that arc bow activation. Also, I agree with you. I feel like they should have just sacked their Brontodon immediately and killed my arc bow. I want to get another land Trust in here. Me. You'll thank me later. For Oketra. I have a plan. Okay. That's just my best chance of hitting a land. Just playing that thing. It's worse for me, you know, like I'd rather have like, you know, like July in play, but I've done the hero thing before. Is it better to play Dawnbringer? I guess it is. Because, you know, they, they just get to chump block the Oketra, where the Dawnbringer is actually going to be hitting them. And then, you know, we play Resplendent next turn and we gain... You know, we get another angel. So basically, instead of getting like the Oketra zombie, we'll get the Dawnbringer angel or the Resplendent angel angel. Cause they probably they probably have like Teferi that tucks, but they probably don't have anything on four mana here to kill the Dawnbringer. Cause they could have trophy. Uh, yeah, Teferi gets rid of that. Here we go. Now I can even Oketra plus Llanowar Elf right now, which is pretty nice. Right on schedule. I've got it.
All right, with them missing this land drop, let's definitely attack with this, you know, be able to attack with the Paradise Druids and everything also. All right, GG. So, command the Dreadhorde deck. Probably want Tristani. Hmm. This is a tough matchup, honestly. Like, Bathlians get rid of Wild Growth Walkers for good. I mean, really, all I want is Shalai Spark Double combo. Like, that's the most important thing in this matchup, is Shalai Spark Double. But playing Vetoes against the Teferi deck isn't ideal. Don't think I really want these Thorn Lieutenants or Teferis. I don't even know if I want deputy at attention. Maybe giving them deputy at attention that they can get back is also bad for me. Do I would I rather have Ferox than Deputy? No, Mystic's better because Mystic we get to Arc Bow into play. So even if they have a little Teferi, we can Arc Bow it. So we're good there. All right, we got a good, good fast opener. Okay, so we have the choice of whether or not to just hold up Frilled Mystic this turn. Or play Paradise Druid plus Arcbow. The worst case scenario for not holding up Frilled Mystic this turn is Tamiyo. I'm going to do it. Them resolving a Tamiyo is just really, really bad. And I can still just go Arc Bow, hold up Mystic next turn. No, no. Okay. So basically because of my life total is like the only reason why I countered that. That's not a good card for me to use a Frilled Mystic on because of, of course, Command the Dread Horde. Um, I 
And this is too risky here, so I don't hit Frilled Mystic. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Zuffers. This isn't a fight you can win. I'm pretty sure I can win it. And they're looking at my creature like I can't. They're like, but I, I, I wanna, but, but I, I wanna tuck, but, but. <laughs> Double shall I across the sky. Let's skip to the good part. All right, so not tucking Arcbow. Drawing a card instead. All right, so I got seven power in the air. They didn't attack with Masker Girl. That is huge. So if I attack them for seven, they go down to six. Command the Dread Horde can get back a Wow Growth and a Jade Light, which only gains them six life, which, which means I still have lethal the next turn. So you know, like basically, you're kind of doing the math of if I should pump if I should pump July and get the extra two points in, or not. Don't think we really need it. So I think we get the arc bow activation here, where maybe, or maybe we would have hit the frilled mystic, but no, they they tucked this time, unfortunately. Time is much more malleable than people think. All right, double shall I across the sky, getting it done. And we're back in the numbers, we're three and oh. What is the best deck versus mono red is the question and probably Esper, honestly. GG's. Yeah, probably it's probably Esper. Um, with like Basilica Bell Haunt and like Dispark for Frenzy and Othakaya and Okay. Not the super fast hand that we would like. Well, Deputy is good in this matchup. Frilled, not as much, but can be. Um, I don't know, Jettage. I, I mean, I, I like both the Arcbow decks, honestly, Gruel and Bant. I've never been one to really like classifying one as better than the other, honestly. I don't know. I don't know, they're close. They're they're about the same power level. The last like two weeks I've been I've definitely been be doing better with Gruel. Uh, but you know, we tried Gruel without Arcbow like a day or two ago and didn't do well and now
But now doing well with Bant. So I'm not sure. Yeah, get that Benelish Marshal out of here. I was kind of hoping they would just like attack with everything, and I would like get that Lawn Rune Enforcer. But of course, we're we're just uh, we're just gonna go ahead and counter that. So I play Lyra, they tap Lyra, I block here, I take three, four, five, six, so I die. Play Lyra, I die. Play Time Raveler, I'm probably dead. I guess I have to play Deputy this turn. And then Lyra next turn. Our opponent's card back is the Mythic Championship Qualifier card back. Um, if you if you finish top thousand in a season, you get that card back. All right, so basically the whole sideboard coming on in. You know, Ketra's pretty good, but we got to just cut a 5-drop with bringing in these other 5-drops. And I guess it's Time Raveler out, even though I really don't mind Time Raveler, but I guess that's that card's out. And we'll trim an Arc Bow. Trim a second Arc Bow. Yeah, I guess I trimmed two arc bows. I mean, null hide's not bad either. But it's like, what what can I play null hide over? Like, do I play null hide over spark double? Do I play null hide over thorn lieutenant? Nah, let's keep the thorn thorny tents in. All right, deck, let's draw some lands. It's a good start.
Yeah, being on the play that last game would have been really nice. But yeah, the, the one drop, and then two drop, and then triple one drop uh, convoke. That's a pretty difficult hand to beat. Looks like our opponent just kept a one lander. Hmm. That's unfortunate. This is Law Rune Enforcer card. It's like the downfall of me. It used to be so much better against Mono White with like these, with like, you know, Angel before Law Rune Enforcer showed up. July. July. Dang it. Well, that's not a very good trade. No Ketra for Paradise Druid. Maybe we play against the mono white player that has no conclave tribunals for once. Is that possible? Them not having like two conclave tribunals? <laughs> Unlikely. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty unlikely. Hmm. Wow, I just drew my card, then it was an imme immediate rope. I kind of wish I would have had Oketra instead of Dawnbringer. Definitely the safer play on my part, playing the two creatures instead of activating and looking for something. But with three mana being two removal spells, 
It's over. Dang. Three and one. I wish I could see like my top card, see what, what we would have hit if I would have hit Shalai. All right, one more match. That, and that Enforcer, such a good card. No, I'm not interested in best of one at all. I don't think best of one is very interesting. I don't think that, like, all you are, all you're rewarded for best of one is making your deck as hyper whatever you're playing as possible. Playing any deck in the middle, you're just not going to be winning. Like, you want it, you're, you want the fastest aggressive deck you can, or the, the most controlly control deck that you can, or the most combo combo deck that you can. And that's just really boring. There's not there's not a deck in the middle that beats the fastest aggressive deck and the most controlling control deck and the most combo combo deck. They're like that's just not a, a thing in format, so if you just play one of those. You just play whatever end of the spectrum and you just hope that your end of the spectrum matches up against your opponents and then you win the die roll and everything. And that is very boring. Hey, MTG Shadow, it's going very good. Yeah, we're doing well so far today. Got some good records getting our ranking back up there. Let's slow this down. So I could have hit Frilled Mystic and countered the Arc Bow. In, but yeah, doing it doing it like this means they, they minus over there. I don't want to like hit some other creature and then they just minus the Teferi and bounce that creature. So I feel like they could have had two mana removal here also. So like if I attack with Paradise Druid. decline no I am not making this up as I go Let me know if you're up for round two. Do I have veto? Hopefully not. Yay. That okay, Trevor will put back. So 
It's the great part about arc bow is like thought erasure really isn't very important because like they take one of your things, but it doesn't doesn't really matter. You just activate arc bow. Ooh, spark doubling Oketra? That could be a thing. This one's annoying. Now that's annoying, taking taking my last card from hand. Oh man, we got the combo in hand. I don't want it in hand. I want to discard cards and find the combo, not not naturally draw the two cards. Um, of course, we already have seen one Kaya's Wrath from them. Give it a try though. So, no Kai's Wrath. Because, of course, we got to just activate where they, they were very dead the next turn. They just, Kai's Wrath was like the only thing that saved him. Bell Hunt would have gave him another turn at least. Ugh. Yeah, I'll let them have that. I know eighty-eight ways to you know, just thoughtfulness before action. It, it's an impulse. You know, look at the top four, take one, because the Shalai will just kill the Narset. I should get him. You'll thank me later. Can't bounce anything. Double shall I across the sky. And we get to just activate. That's more like it. Love it. Shalai is sweet. Gotta love, gotta love Shalai. All right, Ferox, Vito, uh, Tristani is like a card that is more than just a one for one. Uh, Deputy. Hmm. Deputy Thorn Lieutenant. Thorn's not bad against like little Teferi though. We don't need like Lyra so much. And I guess Spark Double isn't as good here if they're just playing a whole bunch of Kai's Rats. I don't know, it's still really sweet. It does force a Kai's Wrath. Hey, 
Hey, orig original Q. Glad you're enjoying the dredge deck from yesterday, and thanks, yeah, thanks for lurking here on the channel all the time, and um, yeah, I appreciate you being here. So thanks for the kind words. What do we got? Yeah, let me know if you find anything like better that you really like with the sideboard or anything like that with the deck. All right, going to cut two Time Ravelers for the Thorn Lieutenant's back. Yeah, Arcbow is awesome. Yeah, that, that Arcbow just won us that game, you know? It just carries the whole it carries the whole game, like, whenever you play that thing. As you saw, that game just, you know, turning any random card into instant speed, look at the top six put the best creature into play. Just every card is like a is a one creature collected company. But it can be any any mana cost. So this is our last match here with Bant Arkbo before we move on to Team Hydra, but uh, you'll help remind me to uh, um, reset Arena between these leagues. I have no... Yeah, because as you can see here how it now it does that like you play the card and there's that delay. They have no black mana. That's kind of crazy. It's definitely hoping for the land drop here. Wait, oh, I should I should have just activated Arcbow. I realized afterwards. I I click I need to stop clicking that auto pass when I have like the instance and everything. If I should just activate Arc Bow and stuff, but not punished. If you show remorse, I'll show the spear goes nothing. This is pretty crazy how they just have no black mana at all. And so now they're missing land drops. Trust me, I have a plan. No! Oh, I did not want to attack there. It's a frilled mystic. <laughs> oh, I did not want to attack there. Whoops. All right, never mind. I need to get back on this arrow. So they're just going to go to discard. So they, so you tell me they had no castable spells in in their opener, and they like they only kept a hand of just black spells, and the blue white lands. And they've gone eight draw steps here. Okay. Well, they got the black mana, which is unfortunate for me. But yeah, mission briefing is, is real gas for Phoenix Return. Yep. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, you did Notion Rain. Okay. That's not bad. Give me some Notion Rain. All right, we should have this one basically locked up. Yeah, 
If they don't play anything, you know, then we'll arc bow. They play stuff, then we frilled Mystic. Uh, yeah, you can just have that. Let's attack that thing. Those who cannot perceive beyond the veil of reality, meditate and prepare. My mind needs a rest. I've got time. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I guess I shouldn't have bounced. We have the other Frilled Mystic still. Sure. So I got six cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Z, undo. I thought we were at end step. All right, now we're at end step. So five, six. Okay, now we got double counter spell. Yeah, oh, that card's too good. That was not ideal. So down to five cards left, and I got three counters. Okay, the calf net was really good. Okay, hey, that's that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, the, we talked about that one at the end there. Good, glad to hear that. Yeah, I think there's a viable Sultai control deck. Yeah, I have uh, Cody. If you remind me right after this, um, I have a, a Sultai control deck that you can that I'll show you on here. If you want to take like a screenshot. And see, so Arcbow and Teferi work so well together because like we go to their end step and we activate Arcbow. And we know that our opponent can't can't cast Dovin's veto with this. 
does kill them very quickly. Because then we know our opponents can't, uh, you know, even, they can't do anything about the creature hitting them, like whatever creature we get with the arc bow, because they can't do anything at speed. This. All right, well, I can't, I can't cast uh, Frilled Mystic anyway, so we'll just play this Resplendent Angel out here too. Because both Resplendent and Null Hide are, are they're both lethal. Because this can this can be a five five attacker. This can be, you know, six six obviously, and they're at five. So these are both lethal attackers. The focus and discipline encounter no upon your prowess. Yeah. I kind of agree with what what you're saying there, Exer. Like the standard format's really good, but really the only thing that I that I don't like also is I, I really don't like the the passive abilities on the planeswalkers. I agree with that. I don't like that either. That's the one thing I don't like. So I didn't really counter the first Kai's Wrath because we could still win pretty easily through that. So I just let them, let them have it. If I counter that first Kai's Wrath and they get to Ixlon's Binding and then maybe, maybe they Binding something and I, I don't know what can happen. But uh, I don't know really how we lose, but I, I knew that that Kai's Wrath wasn't how we lose. I, didn't know, I don't know exactly how we were going to lose that game, but that Kai's Wrath wasn't beating us. So I didn't counter it. All right, uh, Bant Arcbow, four and one, pretty nice. Um, definitely glad we put the second Oketra back in. That was something that we were missing last time, and we saw throughout those games the Oketras were really strong for us. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of. Resplendent Angel, Shalai, Spark Double, Dawnbringer. They were all very good. We we did a good job of drawing our Arc Bows and activating Arc Bows all the time. Uh, that card's awesome. And there we go. Got got the 4-1. Um, only lost to Mono White. And we have a lot of good stuff against Mono White. We kind of got a little unfortunate in those games. It's between having like the Time Wipe in the board and the Trist Tristani, the Knight of Autumns, the Baffling Ends. And then, of course, our big angels that are, like, really hard for them to beat with, like, the Dawnbringers and stuff. We have a lot. And Deputy Attentions are awesome in that matchup. Got a lot of good stuff there. Just didn't go our way in that in that one. And that happens. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. Uh, yeah, I think I did have Dobin's Veto still with the first time that Kai's Wrath. I think so. I probably did. I don't know. It's just being patient. Um, all right, so Ban Arpo with the 4-1. Awesome league there. Uh, we are almost back up in that top 1,000. Let's see if Teamer Hydra and Grixis Control can get us there. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And hope you head on over to one of those next videos. I will see you there. Thanks for watching.